Hi, in this video we will talk about topology and low mesh options. What is topology? Topology is the way the pieces of a 3D model fit together. It describes the arrangement of vertices, edges, and faces that make up the model. Before we move on to our topic, I would like to talk about some important settings. Tap to wireframe, which is displaying the topology of the scene. You can add shortcuts from interface menu. You can change the color of wireframe from display menu. And from the same menu, enable stats, which is very important for us, and set its position, right or left from here. Also, you can check the status from here. Where else can we check? Tap to history, you can see status from here too. As you can see in the history settings, the history limit is limited to 500. If this number is exceeded, the older operations will be removed. Tap to history, pin the menu, let me show you something in history. Add cylinder, add cone as you see it is recording. You can see your movements from here and remember that even undos are recorded and take up memory. You can also delete your process from here. Tap the part you want and make a small movement. Registration will be renewed. Let's continue our topic. As you know Nomad is a polygonal software. What is that meaning? We opened the wireframe. As you can see there are some squares or quads on the sphere. This means breaking the geometry down into smaller polygons such as triangles and quads. When we add sphere we see it is constructed mostly with quads for sided polygons. Before validate, open that menu, in the parameter subdivision value is 5, let we decrease it step by step. Currently, there are 6146 quads and vertices. We got it down to 0. Quads are decreasing too, at the end as you can see it became a box, because sphere is subdivided box. So it subdivide to 6 square and 8 vertices. Increase to 5. Now I will show you to different validation and multi-resolution. Increase the subdivision to 8 and validate. Quads increase approximately to 400,000. As we see closely, subdivision usually consists of equal squares. Let's put this sphere aside. Add sphere and subdivide 3 times to get the same number of quads. Now let's go back and take a closer look at how the multi-resolution subdivide works. Subdivide once. As you can see the inside of a square is divided into four. Zoom in and press second time again to subdivide. The squares are divided into four. Multi-resolution is this. If we look at the stats, the quads are the same. Let's sculpt the same for both. No change in sight. I use this information in both variants. I just wanted to show that such an option exists. The choice is yours. These are the things we need to know before sculpting our shape. Let's start to sculpt a face. I set the parameter subdivision to 8 and I'm going to make a head. So we learn that subdivision is used to increase the level of detail in a 3D model to create smooth, organic surfaces. Let's see what voxel merge is. If you have a basic shape with a higher resolution and start sculpting the shape, you can use the voxel remesher to decrease the resolution, but too much remesh will interrupt the shape. One advantage is same as decimate. Mast area will be protected, so you can control your density. A note, if you run out of space on your device or work at very high values, it will crash and Nomad will turn off. What you do may be interrupted, so you should be careful about the RAM you use. Another difference is that the voxel remesher will produce a much denser mesh, typically with a much higher polygon count. This is because the voxel remesher will subdivide each voxel into multiple polygons. We are almost done with our shape. Now join them and name what we have created separately. Remesh hair with voxel merge. Apart from remesh with voxel merge, we can do Boolean operation with remesh. Hidden will be subtracted. By the way, you can watch the video, How to Make Eye. How we formed our head, we applied subdivision by setting parameter 8. We finished the head. Now let's lower the head, which is about 300,000 high resolution, to lower resolution with voxel merge. Make resolution value to 150 and remesh. We lower the high resolution to 8500,000. Now I will talk about what dynamic topology is. Turn off the view of head and add sphere with parameter 8. 
select dynamic topology from that menu and enable. Tap to question mark what it says, sculpting tools can subdivide or mesh locally in real time. We can adjust the detail from here, let's make it about 200. There is two choice in prefer, refinement is the process of making something more precise or detailed. It involves making changes to something until it reaches the desired level of accuracy or detail. For example, when sculpting a piece of art, refinement is the process of adding small details or M. Be sure that dynamic topology is active. Dynamic topology is using quads and triangles for detailing. I'm using quality in this setting. There are three options for details, zoom, radius, and constant. From zoom, camera position affects detail captured. When radius feature is enabled, the amount of detail in the drawing will always be determined by the brush size, even when the brush size is adjusted based on the amount of pressure applied to the pencil. I mostly use constant in detail options. The detail will vary depending on where you will do it. Remember that it also uses triangles when making subdivision. For the method, I use subdivision, uniformization, add and remove faces. Decimation don't add faces, only remove the faces. Subdivision add new faces don't remove faces makes more pure detail. I want to add details to the object with dynamic topology, which we have decreased the poly count 185 with voxel remesh. Enable dynamic topology and use crease tool to make the details. I add the details with subdivision method it is smooth. But since it adds faces, the poly count increases a little. But don't worry, we'll get rid of this high poly count soon. Turn off the wireframe. You see our face became a very detailed. Now let me talk about the decimation that will decrease our poly count. Open decimation menu from here. High detail meshes can create more realistic and detailed models than their low poly counterparts. These meshes are made up of a larger number of polygons and more complex geometry, meaning they require more system memory. Tap to decimate. However, modern mesh technology has made it possible to reduce the cost of creating detailed models without sacrificing performance by employing techniques such as decimation. We decrease to 100,000 poly counts with decimate once. Let's choose mask tool and mask the details we don't want to be lost. Why? Because decimate protects the mask areas. Why do we mask? We decimate once. Decimate does the poly count decreasing with triangles, which means that some details may be corrupted. Tap to decimate. We decrease about 100,000 poly counts to 79 in this way. Clear the mask. You see all details are remaining. If you need a highly detailed model, Think about using a triangular topology that will allow you to manipulate the mesh more precisely and will keep your poly count low. Make undo and decimate one more time. This time it decreased to 59,000. Yes, our shape looks very good and smooth, as if it is multi-resolution. Let's open the PBR mode and check it in this mode. That's how you can start with high resolution and reduce it, or some do not need high resolution. It all depends on the model you are going to make. If we choose all of them, as we see in the stats, everything is low except the hair. Now let's apply the same procedure to the hair. I'm going fast because it's the same as what we did before. As we did the head, we reduced the poly count to 39,000 with one maskless decimate and masked decimate. How detailed do you want or need your model to be? If you need it to be very detailed and you aren't worried about your count, then you will probably need to consider following a triangular typology. And you have to decimate your sculpture after finish the sculpt. It automatically simplifies the 3D model by creating a surface made up of triangles, which can create a bumpy texture. It works best if you only plan to print the model. I'll come to the end of my video. If you want to learn more, please check out my other videos.